Hello, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a pop-up plug that's in your sink. If it's stuck down in the plug position and your water can't escape, I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So here's what happened. This is a plug. It's a pop-up plug. And you can push it on it, it'll pop up. You push it down to stop the water from draining. And you should be able to push on it and it releases and the water drains. Well, this one is stuck and it's closed and our water can't escape. And I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to fix this. This is how a pop-up plug is supposed to work. You push on it, closes, push on it again, it opens. So we put on a rubber glove. This is your ordinary kitchen rubber glove. We're going to push on that plug there, put some pressure on it, and we're going to turn to the left. Hopefully it sticks. There we go. So what happens is, is this push-up plug has got some junk in there and it got stuck. So we have to take that apart to clean it. So we're gonna open this, just keep turning to the left and you can take this pop-up plug right out. So there you go, it's threaded on. We'll let that finish draining. As you can see, we got a pretty slow drain here, so I'm going to do another video on how to unplug your, your drain in your bathroom sink. So what we want to do is you want to get a pair of pliers, and down on the, not the top here, but down on the middle, down a little lower, you want to get the pliers on the shaft, and just turn it to the left. It shouldn't be hard. There we go. And then you can just spin this out of here. And there we are. We have that out. Now you should probably just go out and buy a new one, but I can show you how to clean this one up because there's a little piston in here and you can just clean this up and uh, it'll be, you could use it for a while longer. Okay, the first thing we have here is we have to take this apart. So here's a little ring we have to take off and then this shaft too, I believe. So what we'll do is we'll just pop this up first. It just comes off like that. Use a small screwdriver. I'm going to put the parts over here where it's safer so they don't go down the drain on me in case I knock them in by mistake. And then this shaft here, I think it has to come out of here as well. Oh, maybe we have to push this in here like this. Okay, so you push in this button and this will pop up. But remember that this little shaft here it, the, this part here that turns out here is shorter than this one here. So we have to remember that the short part goes on the inside and hooks on in there. So I'll grab the screwdriver here and we're going to undo the screw here. Care, careful not to round off the head of the screw with your screwdriver. So that's out now. Take that out put it over here. It's a tiny screw. Now this should be able to come apart no problem. There's a spring in here. Watch that doesn't go flying. Take this spring out of here, put that there, and we're going to clean up these parts. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's, there's junk in there. We're going to clean this up first. Look at the stuff coming out of there. There's some corrosion on here as well. Put a little bit of grease on the outside here. And we'll see how this works now. There, that is much better. Move it around, get that grease worked in there really good. There we go. Much better. Now that we have everything cleaned up and lubed, we're going to put the spring back in here. And we're going to put this part back in here, like this. And so your screw goes in here where this dot is, and you want your screw to be sitting in here. So we have to put our screw back in. So we're going to squeeze that down a bit, like that. Let's see if I can get my... Okay, now we have to get our screw in. And this screw is small, so we got to be careful we don't drop it and lose it.
there we go. So see, now you can see that moves really good. I'll make sure that screw is snugged up good there. And you can see the moving parts inside that hole. Now we have to get this back in, this clip. And remember the small part has to go on the inside. Oh, I should point out right here, there's a hole and that's where this part of the clip will go in the long part. There we go. Now we have to get this long part in that hole. I do have a pair of needle nose pliers here just in case. And they came in handy there. Oh. There. Now we can put our washer back in place. Or whatever you want to call this, a clip back in place. There we go. That's how it should look. And I'll test it out. As you can see, it works. Works really good. It's smooth. All right, now we'll put it back down in the hole here and we'll turn it in. Feels good. I imagine you don't have to really tighten it up much. There we go. And now we'll put our cap back on. Our cap. Just screws onto the top. That's it. Test. It works great. Probably just saves you 10 to $20 on getting a new piston to go underneath this pop-up drain. So I hope this fix helps you with the pop-up drain on your sink. If you're having any trouble with your towel rack or anything that's screwed into your hollow interior door, they keep coming out, right? Um, people put their robes on them, they put wet towels, the weight on them pulls them right out of the hollow door. That's because they don't have anything to anchor to. I have a video at the end of this video and down in the description below that will show you how to fix that so that you never have a problem. Look at that. Just I'm pulling on it and there's nothing happening. I have a hack for that to fix that and you'll love it. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if you can. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video.